Aries. Overall energy for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements for messages there. Feel free to cross watch. Don't force anything to fit. All right, Aries. In for all good energy. Intuition, awareness, destiny, and memories of love. Um, we are in retrograde. This could be somebody from the past coming back or somebody really thinking heavily about you. Um, or you thinking heavily about the past too. It could be that. Memories of love, destiny, awareness, intuition, and material harvest. You could be intuitively feeling like someone from the past is coming back because you're getting really strong feelings or thoughts about them. Um, material harvest, you could be hoping for that, or they could be hoping. Uh, let's dig in. Let's see what's going on. Current energies, current situation for Aries person. Keep in mind, Aries, when I say your person, it could be your energy. Flip, feel free to flip-flop and reverse it. Aries, you showed up right away. And then I have King and Queen of Swords that showed up. Libra and Aquarius, and then manifesting. Is this an air sign? There could be distance, travel between the two of you, or you could be, one of you could be waiting for a cycle to close out. I feel like it's your person is trying to close out a cycle and you're waiting for them to close out a cycle. So it's like you dated before, broke up, they ended up with somebody else, and now they're breaking up and you feel their energy kind of coming back towards you. Could be reversed. It's general. Somebody's waiting. Somebody's waiting for a leap of faith. Somebody's waiting. Yeah, I feel like you can feel this. Sense it. For sure you can. It's maybe both of you have maybe you're still in communication so you know what's going on i don't know but you're both heavily thinking about each other we some kind of new beginning passionate new beginning but having to hold back for now because there's some kind of separation going on let's see what's blocking or interfering blocking or interfering d literally a separation or divorce with an air sign, heavy air. Could be any sign, but air is coming in heavy. What else is blocking or interfering? What else is blocking or interfering? Maybe you're not in full communication yet, but you can't have this stable new beginning yet. It, it's like this is bound to come together, but it's on hold, it's on pause. It like just, stagnant got stuck for a second you know why divine timing yeah that's right divine timing the temptation is crazy the attraction is crazy i'm getting more of that than emotion to be honest with you but it, it's very um it's a strong connection a strong bond but it's literally like there's like a wall stopping this let's see how does this person feel about you aries how does this person feel about you exactly they want to reconcile they want to change they want a transformation they want something to end for this to to begin so some kind of new beginning here and to put in um work and effort to bring long-term stability Divine timing, divinely guided, meant to be. That's how this person feels about you. It's, things are weighing heavy on this person. They really want to heal this. Aries, they, they have taken that leap of faith. Your intuition is telling you, though. Their intuition is telling you, you're, or telling them, yours is telling you. Like, you both feel this. You know this is going to have victory and success. You know that. You know their strength here. You, you know. You both know that you're meant to be. Something happened. Something got in the way. Something's now kind of putting this on pause. But in the end, you both know. 
All right, so what's going to happen? What are their intentions? Ace of Cups. Slow, steady, plans, methodical. So this is what they want. This is their intention here. To play, have a plan. They're still trying to figure out the plan. But they want to take this leap of faith. Reignite this flame. Strength, confidence, courage. Put in work and effort. So I have action here. And I like seeing action because it makes me feel like they're not full of crap. They're not just feeding you some kind of a line of BS. You know what I mean? I feel like they really do mean it. They really do want this new beginning. I feel like they are trying to come up with a plan. Yes, they're a little bit kind of in the dark, not really sure what to do or how to do it, but they're trying to find strength, confidence, courage, so they can put in work and effort to take this leap of faith. So there's action here. I like that. They're not lying. They're not trying to put something over you and make you feel like, yeah, I'm going to leave this situation. I'm going to come towards you. No, they're, they're really trying here. There could be a lot of stress going on too. A lot of thinking, memories of love, overthinking. So what's the outcome here for Aries and this person? Knight of Cups, transformation, victory and success, Ace of Wands, the Sun. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Divine timing, when the timing is right. You're not being breadcrumbed. That That's what I was trying to say before. They're not breadcrumbing you. They're not fibbing or lying. Strength, confidence, courage. There's a little confusion because of this, this separation, breakup, divorce, whatever, because of this. There, there is like confusion going on with you, but I don't think, I don't think you have anything to worry about. It's just time, time, waiting, patience, time, and then it'll end up together, so... All right, messages for Aries about this situation. All right, for yourself, you don't need to be control in control of everything for a love relationship to be successful. So you, you can't really control the outcome of this. You know, you kind of got to just let, let it flow. So freeing yourself from stress, trying to control, trying to push, being impatient, trying, 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 wanting, wanting. Free yourself from that stress, you know. Um, be present. You will attract, a, sorry, you will attract love by enjoying your life as it is wherever you are. Be all there. Pay attention to signs. The synchronicities you have been noticing are not coincidences. And stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring romance into your life. Unconditional love. You both want this. It's heading in that direction. Stay optimistic. Pay attention to signs, synchronicities, numbers, seeing the same things, hearing the same phrases, all of that. All right, let's get some uh, numbers. Could be angel numbers, a birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, and age. We have 6, 7, 10, 11. So it could be 67, 76, 10, 11. We have June, July, October, November. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with. Strong placements in their charts or something could happen during that season. Like Aries season. Like right now. We got Libra. Libra. So double Libra. Virgo. Pisces. Aquarius. So Libra. Aquarius. Virgo. Pisces. It could be any sign. It is a general reading. Any sign. I got a lot of air come through. A lot of air energy. Earth energy. Water. Could be anybody. All right. Letters could be first, middle, last name. Spell a name. Spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. All right. Y-Q-Z-R-V-D-E-C-H-O-M. So Y-Q-Z-R-V-D-E-C-H-O-M. I also have S-N-U-T looking at me. All right. That's what I have for letters. Aries, that is what I have for you this week.